Genera. Uh, it's quite extensive, as uh, you'll see. There are many pieces to it. There are many components. Uh, and, it's many, and this should give you uh, some idea uh, and some appreciation of the value of the blockchain. Uh, as you can see uh, in the, uh, in the uh, ecosystem, the top one component, uh, which is you can consider the key component, of his, as we call it, the core components in the blockchain, uh, is the blockchain itself. You might have heard of terms like layer one and layer two blockchains. For example, uh, you know, Bitcoin is a layer one blockchain, uh, 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 blockchain uh, that runs on this ecosystem. Ethereum is layer one as well. Similarly, Cardano is layer, layer one. Phantom, Solana, and all these other blockchains are layer one blockchains. Layer ones are the main primary blockchains, and layer two are derivatives of this. They're sort of created to solve very specific problems. You can call them subchains for simplicity. Layer two is a collective term uh, used to describe blockchain scaling solutions uh, or give more scalability to uh, applications running on the uh, blockchain. These solutions are on top of layer one blockchain uh, and, uh, and uh, help improve the network scalability and transaction processing speed. They're merely an extension to the base layer, offshoots of it, if, you, if, you, uh, if I may call it, offshoots of the main blockchain, sort of the side chains or other small mini blockchains running alongside the main blockchain. Uh, one example is a uh, uh, layer two for decentralized finance, which uh, transaction speeds are very important. Similarly, there's another technology, it's called DAG or directed acyclical graphs. Uh, DAGs are also very similar to blockchain uh, and DAGs actually technically do the same thing as blockchains do but the data is stored differently not in a sequential form, form. but it, but instead of uh, the data being stored in blocks of sequential blocks uh, it is stored in more of a tree structure but the benefits are almost identical. There is uh, decentralized storage in the blockchain ecosystem where you don't need to store your data on a cloud uh, or, what, or with some service provider, but rather it's stored on, uh, on many computers uh, connected to the blockchain across the globe. The, uh, the, uh, there's decentralized oracles, which are information sources that exist on the blockchain. Uh, they're a very important part of the ecosystem. And these are sources which can be pulled for uh, validating or getting instant information, reference data, like weather or currency rates or you know the exact uh, flight times or historic data and so forth and all the key data that blockchains might use uh, in the future as well. Uh, there's another component in the blockchain uh, and uh, that has to do with search engines. Gra the graph protocol is, is a search engine and falls into this category of the, de uh, of the ecosystem. Uh, it's uh, the category of decentralized search engines. Then there's coins and tokens. Uh, these are the fuel used to power Web3 networks. Coins and tokens are used to pay for services, uh, both uh, as an on-ramp toll on the network as well as for transaction fee for applications. And this is how you sort of get on the network and utilize the different uh, resources uh, and features and of the applications that are running and services uh, provided by the blockchain. Decentralized exchanges are used for trading uh, the, these tokens and coins and to create liquidity uh, through uh, basically letting you buy and sell tokens. Uh, decentralized applications are another major component. These are called dApps, uh, decentralized apps, applications. Dapps are smart contracts and uh, use and, and has many other facilities. There's many different specialized programming languages used for creating uh, dApps. Solidity is one of them. Uh, then there's Plutus and Haskell and a bunch of others that you can use. And it's these application programming languages that allow you to create wallets and to interact with the blockchain and do transactions and uh, access the uh, uh, storage uh, uh, data and the oracles and search data and so forth. De then depending on the blockchain itself, there are wallets and Web3 access tools and application programs uh, interfaces or APIs. Uh, so there's some other uh, others uh, like uh, there's uh, centralized exchanges, there's stable coins, and so forth. Uh, many uh, strange uh, centralized exchanges exist today, such as Binance, Coinbase, Qcoin. So that that's the works of the uh, ecosystem, 
and uh, it's it's uh, get, it's a very elaborate ecosystem and it ex it's growing exponentially uh, and uh, you'll see blockchain uh, dominate uh, business and finance and all industry in the next few, in the next few years and in, in next few decades